Hi, um, we're going over a program, a um, computer program called Experion. And this is basically what the software looks like on your computer. Um, and this is actually what the machine looks like. Um, the main Experion machine. It, it's got a little hatch that comes up like that and you can close down. This is um, the priming unit. Okay, you'll need that. And you'll need this too as well, the Experion Vortex Station. Um, this is what the Experion chips look like. I want you to get a real good look at that. Um, these chips are labeled, um, and I'll go over those labels with you soon. And this is your cleaner chip. It, it's, it's a little bit different. The first thing you want to do, we're going to go over the Experion um, process. The first thing you want to do is clean your unit. You're going to need this, which is in the electrode cleaner. Um, and you want to pipe at eight, 800 microliters into one of these green chips. One of these uh, looks just like this. And then you want to place it into your unit. And you want to leave that in there for two minutes. Okay? Once that part process is done, you want to um, take this, which is your deep sea water, after the two minutes of the um, cleaner is set on it, and you want to pay, pipe it 800 microliters into this chip, place it into the unit and close it, just like you did the last time, and you want to leave that in there for five minutes. Then you want to take that out after five minutes, dump it, completely dump it out, pipe it another 800 microliters, put it back into the machine, close it, for two more minutes and then you want to raise the hood like this raise the machine hood leave it sitting up for 60 seconds and then close it okay and then you're done cleaning your machine that is the first part of your process the second part of your process is I would actually go to the computer and put your samples into the computer and then um, it comes with a kit. The kit looks like this. This is the manual. This is the kit. The kit's going to have units in it that have a yellow top, a green top, and a blue top. Okay. The the blue top is your stain. Okay, and you want to keep that out of sunlight. You don't want to get any light exposure to that because it can degrade it. Um, the first thing you want to do is make your gel. You have to make your gel and you'll take the green top and you'll pipe it 600 microliters into a filter and then you'll run that through your centrifuge. Okay. Once that is filtered, you want to take 65 microliters into another tube of the filter gel and put one microliter of the stain into that tube and you want to vortex that and mix it mix it well. Um, once you do that you're ready to prime your chip. I the 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 manual will actually tell you to to um, place your samples onto a uh, heating unit of 70 degrees before you prime the chip. I don't want you to do that. I want you to prime the chip first. Um, the reason why is it's just you you don't want to leave your your samples out too long um, so take a good look at this chip this chip has labels on this side okay these GS labels right there okay the one that has the orange box is the one you want to pipe at nine microliters of stained gel into nine microliters of stained gel and then you want to Take a look at it, make sure there's no bubbles in there inside of the, uh, the little holes. If, if you don't see any bubbles, you want to prime the chip. And this is your priming unit, this unit right here. And then your it'll take 30 seconds, and your 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 chip should be primed after that. Once once the machine is done priming. You want to look at that. The back of the chip 
did have some little lines on it before you actually primed it. After you prime it, you won't see any lines. You shouldn't see any lines because if you do, you need to you need to throw that chip away and prime you another chip. And also, if you see air bubbles, that could cause an issue. You want to um, throw it away and try to prime another chip. After you're go ahead and, and um, denature your samples. And to denature your samples, your, your RNA that you want to test, you want to place them at 70 degrees, either in a water bath or a, a heating unit, that will denature the samples and the ladders at 70 degrees. Once that is done, you want, you, you take the chip that you primed, you first remember to denature at 70 degrees denature your sample and your ladders at 70 degrees for two minutes okay and and then once you get that out you want to place it back on ice place your samples and your ladder back on ice for five minutes and then your samples will be ready to use but during the time that you're doing that process you want to be loading this chip you want to load you've already loaded your GS well uh, so you want to go back to the other well that says GS which is above the one <clears throat> with the orange block around it the the one that's labeled GS in black you want to load that with nine microliters of stain gel and then above that which is the G the G um, circle well you want to um, load nine microliters of un of unstained gel, just the filter gel into that. And then you're ready to load your ladder, which is down there at the bottom of the chip. It says L on the chip. You want to load five microliters of the buffer, which is the yellow top, into there, as well as every well that's loaded for your samples, all 12 wells. So all of your sample wells should have five microliters of buffer as well as one microliter of each sample and the latter should also have mi five microliters of buffer and then one microliter of the latter okay and that comes with the kit it's in a red top okay then once you're done with that once you're done loading your your sample you want to put it into this this unit right here let me get you a good shot of that that is your mixing unit okay and that's where you're going to place your chip onto the mixing unit like this until it clicks push it back until it clicks and then turn it on it will run for 60 seconds it's actually mixing the samples that you have loaded into there and once it's done mixing you're ready to place it into the machine which is right here and then you're ready to start your software okay once you get your unit started you just hit hit play it'll hit new run okay new run it says no instrument available but we're pulling one up just go to file hit new run and then you'll see this will pop up I don't know if you can see that real well but we're gonna try to get it you want to label all of your your sample names into here. Each unit will let you label whatever you name it. This is done. It will beep at you. Then you place it into here. You close the unit, and it's ready to go. Just push play.